What's up everyone? For this week, I decided to focus all of my energy on applying for Patreon's Creator Grant, a once in a lifetime opportunity for us to win $15,000 and a chance to be mentored by veteran food creators. I really wanted to tell the story of my parents' struggles as Chinese immigrants and where we hope to take Made with Lao in the future. I've included more info and links in our description to learn more about the grant and what we're applying for. The application deadline is today, so wish us luck and enjoy. Hi, my name is Randy. And I'm the creator behind Made with Lao, our family's YouTube channel and blog celebrating Chinese recipes and culture. I started this channel with my wife and parents, where each week we teach our community one of my dad's recipes from his 50 years as a Chinese chef. And we sit down together as a family to share our meal and conversation together. Today, I'm super excited to apply for Patreon's Creator Grant. To understand why we're applying and how this will help us, I want to start by sharing our family's story. These are my superheroes, Jenny and Chung Sun Lao, aka Mommy and Daddy Lao. My parents both grew up living in poverty in China. My mom was the oldest of five siblings, and my dad grew up without his parents from the age of 12 onwards. In the 80s, they fell in love, got married, and made the bold decision to leave everything behind in hopes of a better life here in America. Not long after, they had my sister and then me. Coming to America, they didn't speak a word of English. And like many immigrants, my parents had to work really, really hard to make it here. My dad came from a long line of restaurateurs and eventually saved up enough money to open his own Chinese restaurant here in the Bay Area. And meanwhile, my mom, who was actually a nurse in China, hoped to become a nursing assistant here in America. For months, she locked herself in our bathroom to study to become not only fluent in English, but Western medicine. For over three decades, my dad would work in sweaty kitchens, 14 hours a day, come home exhausted, and tag my mom in, who would then work night shifts at her hospital. Challenge after challenge, sacrifice after sacrifice, my parents persevered and truly succeeded in paving a better life for me and my sister. I think I speak for a lot of children of immigrants and people of color in saying that our parents had to climb an uphill battle just to raise us, and I honestly would not be where I am today without their love and selflessness. Last year, as I was reflecting on everything my parents had done for me, my dad's upcoming 75th birthday, and my first kid on the way, I realized how precious our limited time is. I had never really taken the time to learn my dad's recipes and to truly understand our heritage. I realized that I really needed to do this now, while my parents are still young and healthy. As parents, my wife and I thought it'd be really special to have my dad's recipes and our Chinese traditions documented for our kids to have someday. So after a few months of preparing, on September 1st, 2020, we launched Made with Lao. What's up everyone? Today we're making When we started, I honestly thought of this as a personal project just for our own family, to celebrate my parents' legacies and to pass it down to our kids. As it's grown, I've started to realize that this is a lot bigger than just the Lao family. Through our recipe videos and our mealtime segments, where we sit down together as a family, I feel like we've struck a chord that started to resonate with people all across the world. Every day we get dozens of messages from our community about how Made With Lao brings back nostalgic memories of childhood dishes, how we fill a void that their parents or grandparents left behind, how we're preserving recipes that people never got a chance to learn, and how we're bringing families together. I've come to realize that this is about all of our families. It's about preserving our shared heritage, our Chinese cuisine, the Cantonese language, the immigrant stories of perseverance that so many of us can relate to, and our common humanity and our love for food and family. In the seven months since launching, we've been blown away by how much our YouTube channel and blog have grown, and it makes me excited to see how many hearts and bellies we can warm in the future. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> one more, one more. No! no! Oh! 
This is why we're so excited to apply for a Patreon Creator Grant. So far, we've been able to do all of this just by bootstrapping and hustling. But with some guidance and this grant, we'd be able to take it to a completely different level. Right now, I only have the resources to produce one recipe a week. And I honestly feel a bit of pressure to go faster because my parents aren't getting any younger. My dad literally knows hundreds of recipes and they'd love to be able to document as many as they can while they're still able to. The $15,000 grant would help us upgrade our gear and hire help to speed up our workflow which would ultimately enable us to share even more recipes and stories with the world. On top of all that, if selected, we'd get a chance to learn what it takes to succeed from people who already have extremely robust and accomplished careers in this space. While we'd be humbled to be taken under the wing by any of the three mentors, after hours upon hours of deliberation with my wife, we decided to apply for Carla's mentorship. Carla, your whole entire career is honestly just mind-blowing. I feel like we have so much to learn from your decade of experience as a food editor and video host, how you stepped back to write a book that would go on to win a James Beard Award, and how you stepped down from your role to take a stand for equality. It's even more incredible to see that you've done all of this while raising a family, which is something that's really important for me to be able to balance as a new dad. It would be an honor to have the opportunity to learn from you and have your guidance on how to approach storytelling and how you create such engaging content over and over again at scale. We want to start producing different types of series with my family beyond our current format. And I'd love to understand how you thought through producing and hosting all of the different series that you've had a hand in creating. As a former editor of some of the largest culinary websites in the world, I'd love to learn what it takes to grow our blog into a thriving go-to resource for Chinese cuisine. And as an accomplished author, I'd love to learn how to one day write books that do my family's stories and recipes justice. I feel like you've already lived out so many of the dreams and ambitions that I have for Made With Lao. And I know that your guidance would really accelerate our growth and help us navigate through the challenges that we're sure to face along the way. With all that being said, on behalf of the Lao family, I want to thank Patreon, Brian, Carla, and Pai Lin for giving us this opportunity and platform to share our story. While we're still new to the game and have a lot to learn, our community has grown so much faster than we could have ever imagined. Hearing how much Made With Lao resonates with people from all walks of life gives me hope that we might one day become a prominent voice in food media and represent Chinese and Asian Americans in what has traditionally been a homogenous and often hostile landscape to people of color. Pai Lin said in one of her videos that this is probably a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I'm just really grateful to be a part of it and just excited about the possibilities of what we'd be able to do with your help and mentorship. Thank you again for listening and thank you so much for your time. <laughs> Okay, go ahead, go ahead, okay, go ahead. Mm, okay. Okay, yay. Okay. Yeah. okay.